This skeleton candy bowl from Pottery Barn is almost $200. Granted, it's huge. Like the, the dimensions are much larger. I think it's like 18 inches by 19 inches. But we're gonna make a smaller scale version here using a skeleton from Dollar Tree as, as well as using one of these garden dishes. Usually it's with the florals and like the cloches and the wreath forms at Dollar Tree in that area. So first we just need to trim the top the little tag off the skull of the skeleton and then you want to glue everything together. So we're going to use my favorite combination of E6000 and hot glue. E6000 gives you the long-term hold that you want to make this permanent. Hot glue works instantly, so everything kind of holds together and you don't have to hold it in place while it dries. So I just arrange the skeleton the way you like and then add a bit of E6000. I started on the legs and then moved on to the hands. I just kind of set everything in place the way you want it. For the hands, I like didn't even want to wait for the hot glue to dry, so I just taped it in place with a little bit of painter's tape. I let everything sit overnight just to be extra certain and then removed the tape and came back with some silver spray paint. Took everything outside, gave it a nice coat with this Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint in the color silver. And how cute did this guy turn out? I know the inspiration was a candy dish, but I just filled mine with some Black Rocks from Dollar Tree and a few little candles. 